Hi, I'm Matt Stancato with Team Stancato with Guild Mortgage. I'm here to talk to you about bubbles, particularly housing bubbles, like the kind that occurred circa 2006 and the kind that some people think might be ready to occur again now. I'm here to tell you why that's not necessarily the case. There are several distinct differences between the market in 2006 and the market now, even if superficially the markets might appear the same. One of the most important is that in 2006, the new home market was vastly overbuilt with historically high vacancies, the relatively low cost of funds and the relatively low cost of materials and the relatively low cost of transport at that time all lent themselves towards high amounts of new construction. And when supply vastly outstripped demand, they fell out of balance and a price correction became necessary. Circa 2006, the mortgage industry was also engaging in a pattern of business practices that was damaging the value of mortgage-backed securities on the secondary market. And the knock-on effect of this was that the credit market had to tighten in response, and this further exacerbated the problem of supply and demand. This time around, thankfully, things look different. Rather than oversupply and speculation driving the bubble, this time around, price increases seem to be the result of a combination of inflation and a historic undersupply of homes which are causing many homes to go for over the initial asking price. Additionally, supply chain problems and cost of materials have slowed new home construction, further exacerbating the issue. The stricter mortgage standards mean that secondary mortgage products like mortgage-backed securities and collateralized debt obligations, all that stuff that goes on the secondary market and affects pricing eventually, are much more stable than they have been in recent years. Long story short, there are some issues in the market right now that are causing some congestion, but these are issues that are likely to right themselves slowly and steadily back to normal, rather than all at once in a crash as we saw back in 2006. Eventually, inflation will ease and new construction will increase. Eventually, more people will put their homes on the market. It's going to happen slowly and steadily, but it is going to happen. So there's lots of reasons to buy and there's lots of reasons not to buy and there's lots of reasons to make the decision that's right for you. But you don't have to be bullied by the ghost of 2006.